Hi guys, my name is Emily King. I'm a freshman admissions counselor here at Georgia Southern. I'm just here to talk about Georgia Southern and what we're about and what we have to offer for you guys. So to begin with, we offer three campuses at Georgia Southern. The first one is Armstrong that's located in Savannah, Georgia. It's about 15 minutes from downtown and there's about 5,000 students that attend this campus. Um, it, Savannah is a very big city. It has about 146,000 people. So 5,000 students is not a lot, but if you guys are looking at for a more smaller campus in a big town, this is definitely a great option for you guys. Definitely check it out. Come give us a tour. It's super pretty, super awesome. We also have the Statesboro campus, which is located in Statesboro, Georgia. Um, it has 140 different degrees and programs, just like our other campuses do. Um, there's about 20,000 students that go here, so it's a little bit bigger than the Savannah campus. And it's also in the town of Statesboro, like I mentioned. And the town of Statesboro has about 31,000 people in there as well. So Statesboro is a lot of a lot of college students. So that's really awesome to know that you're not going through it alone, that there's always someone that's going to be with you. You're always going to be meeting new people. So that's super encouraging to know when you're a student. We also have an average class size of 33 students. Um, that does not mean that every class is going to be that big or small. Sometimes you might have lecture halls that have about 100 to 150 students. Take advantage of those because you guys can get into study groups, meet new people, learn. Um, it would be really good for you guys. We also have 17 NCAA sports teams as well, all of which you guys get to go to for free as a student. So we have football, baseball, soccer, um, basketball, so many different options all for you guys to go and see. We also have our Liberty Campus. It is located in Hinesville, Georgia. It is the smallest of the three with about 500 students. Um, the average class size is 20. This Campus does not have residential housing, um, but it is located three miles down from the um, Fort Stewart Army base. So there's a lot of military people here as well as dual enrolled students. If you guys are interested in this campus, definitely reach out, also give it a tour and we can get you guys set up over there. Just a little bit of background history about Georgia Southern. We actually started in 1906 as an agriculture school. So that's super awesome just to see how much we've progressed since then. We then turned into Georgia, the Georgia Southern Teachers College. Um, it's kind of crazy, but there was a big need for teachers. So we became a teacher's college. And then we turned into Georgia Southern College. Um, and then for and five years, our enrollment boosted from 6,000 to 12,000 students. So we became Georgia Southern University in 1990, and we've been that ever since. Now down to the nitty gritty. Um, these are our freshman requirements that we're looking at for students. We are looking at a 2.5 or higher GPA, and that is just looking at your high school curriculum. So I'm talking about science, social studies, math, English, and two foreign languages. So definitely check into that to make sure that you guys have all of those requirements down because we are looking at those core classes. We also are requiring test scores this year as well. So we're looking at a 1030 for your SAT and a 20 for your ACT. We also are looking for um, other requirements. So if you look in the bolded section, we're looking at a 480 for reading and writing for your SAT and a 440 for math. Those are the state requirements that um, they require for students. And then the 1030 is the Georgia Southern requirements. And then for the ACT, we are looking at that 20 composite, which is the Georgia Southern requirement, and then the 17 for English or reading and the 17 for math as well. We will super score either of these exams. Um, so if you guys have taken multiple SATs or multiple ACTs, send us all of your test scores and we'll take the best out of all of them to make sure you guys get the best of both worlds. We also have dual enrollment for students as well. So if you guys wanna dual enroll with Georgia Southern, the requirements are a little bit different. We are looking at a 3.0 GPA. We're looking at a 1050 SAT and a 20 ACT. So definitely look into that. We do enroll at all of our campuses. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely let us know and check it out. Also, we will take um, the AccuPlacer as a form of testing when it comes to dual enrollment, but that is only for dual enrollment students. That is not for traditional freshmen. 
If you guys are transfer students, we also are looking at a few things as well. If you guys have earned over 30 credit hours, you guys are no longer a freshman. Um, so you guys will be a regular admission transfer. And all we are looking at is that 2.0 college GPA. And you guys will just need to send over all of your college transcripts from previous universities or colleges. If you guys are a conditional admission transfer student, that means you are on the path to be a fresh or you're on you are a freshman and you have earned at least 15 credit hours and you're on track to complete the 30. So we're just looking at a college GPA of a 2.0. If you guys are transferring as a freshman, then you guys were going to look at the same freshman requirements that I talked about earlier, as well as the college GPA 2.0 um, as well. So definitely keep that in mind if you guys are wanting to transfer. And if you guys have any questions, just feel free to reach out to us. We also have academic scholarships. This is super simple for students. We have made it super easy for you guys. All you guys have to do is fill out our academic scholarship um, application on our website. Once you guys apply to Georgia Southern, you guys will have a status check page and there's a scholarships tab on that. Hit that scholarships tab and it'll take you to the application. It is one application for all of our scholarships. You guys can get all the way from a one-time $500 scholarship all the way to a four-year full tuition award. They also are stackable with Hope and Zell Miller, so definitely keep that in mind. And there are some deadlines with that. With the freshman, your deadline is February 1st. And if you're a transfer student, that deadline is May 1st. Definitely be early about it because the earlier that you guys apply, um, the better it will be for you in the long run. We also have an honors college. This has been super sweet to see grow because it used to be an honors program and now it's an honors college. Um, basically, you guys will be learning the same information as a normal student. You guys just might be taking a different approach. Um, there are a few ways to get admitted into the honors college. If you guys are interested in it, there is a little, yes, I'm interested in the honors college on the, um, scholarship application. So definitely check into that. It's going to ask you a few more questions, um, but we will look at you guys academically. So we'll look at your test scores as well as your GPA, um, but we also will look at you guys holistically. So we'll look at what were you involved in? Were you doing enroll? What extracurricular activities did you do? All of that stuff. So that way everyone um, has a chance to get into the honors college. We also have leadership and community engagement opportunities for students as well. This is super sweet, especially if you wanna make um, Savannah, Statesboro, Hinesville your home for the next four years. Um, definitely look into this because it'll get you in your community, learning new things, meeting new people. So that's super fun. We have this thing called Southern Leaders. It's also on the scholarship application that you guys can check on it. Um, and that's basically just helping you be a leader in your professional and personal life. And then we also have other events like Serve 912, who goes in volunteers in our community. As freshmen, you guys are required to live on campus. Um, this has been a super, super awesome thing for students because we have seven different residential halls um, for students to choose from. All of our floor plans are on our website, so definitely check it out. Um, be smart about where you want to live because we have so many, so many different options for students to choose from. We also don't want you guys just to go home and then go to class. We really want you guys to be involved. It's the best way to live your college experience is to just put your foot through the door and meet new people and try new things. So we have what we like to call our big four. Student activities consist of all of our different clubs and organizations. We have over 300 clubs and organizations here on campus. We have a pancake eating club, humans versus zombies, a bowling club. Um, we also have honor societies and we have specific clubs directly towards majors. Um, so definitely look into all of those because you can always find something that you guys are interested in and just try new things. We also have multicultural affairs. They're constantly putting events on for students all throughout the year. They're super awesome, making sure everyone feels included. Fraternity and sorority life as well. It's a big chunk of campus. If you guys are interested in that, definitely check us out, check them out on their website. We also have the Student Government Association. Um, they're constantly making changes for our campus for the better. And as a student, it's super encouraging to see people wanna make the change for the better. We also have campus recreation and intramurals. Um, campus recreation life is super awesome. We have this thing called our Recreational Activity Center, the RAC for short. And basically it's just a campus gym where it's a hot tub, a sauna, 
there's a weightlifting floor, a cardio floor, racquetball, volleyball, basketball courts, Zumba classes, so many different things that we want you guys to participate in because we really care about you guys being fit physically and mentally. Um, if you guys ever want to take a break from classes and the stress of studying, definitely take out or go to the rack and kind of hang out, chill out, relax a little, and just have some fun with your friends. We also offer intramurals. Um, these are super fun as well because students will team up into groups of people and they will compete against other students on campus. You guys can play flag football, cornhole, ultimate frisbee, rocket league, archery. Um, there's a lot of different options for you guys to choose from and you guys will get to compete and win t-shirts. It's super, super fun. As I was talking about um, sports earlier. We love our sports here at Georgia Southern, especially football. Um, we have won six national championships, so that's super awesome. You guys will get to sit in the student section as a student. You just need your Eagle ID to get into the game. You guys will sit in the student section with 20 of your 20,000 of your best friends and just watch the game. And the sunsets at, at our Georgia Southern Stadium are unbeatable. They're super sweet. These are a few of our deadlines that we're looking at. October 1st is not necessarily a deadline. That is when FAFSA opens online. So definitely look into that with your parent or guardian because the better or the earlier that you guys do that, the more it will make sense. Um, February 1st is that scholarship deadline that I was talking about for freshmen. March 1st, that is our priority deadline for university housing. Basically, that just means if you guys get your housing application by then, um, you're more likely to get your top choice when it comes to housing. And then we also have August 1st, which is our final application deadline for fall semester for um, students who are trying to apply. Um, we do not have a commitment deadline when it comes to Georgia Southern. The way that we know that you guys are coming is if you guys fill out your housing application and if you guys submit um, the registration for orientation, which is called SOAR. We also are rolling in mission as well. So once you guys have submitted all of your materials to us, then it typically takes about two to three weeks for us to, to give you guys a decision. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely reach out to us via email or phone call, and we will help you guys get whatever questions you have answered. Thank you so much.